Number nine is going to have a negative angle, and so we want to turn this into a positive one. Now we can we can do that by adding uh, revolutions around. So one revolution is 360 degrees. What we're going to do is we're going to start with this angle. We're going to keep adding 360 until we get it to be a positive angle, and then we'll stop. So we're going to do negative 585. If I add 360 to it, that's not going to give me a positive angle. So because I still have a negative angle, I want to add one more. So I'm going to add another 360. We're actually using the periodic property here that says that if we, if we add multiple revolutions, it's just going to take us around to the same spot on the unit circle. So instead of going multiple revolutions around, we'll still arrive at the same spot. So I have 585 plus 360 plus 360. So if, uh, by doing that, that will give me a positive result. So as soon as I get a positive result there, I'm going to stop. I don't need to add any more uh, 360s. So once I do that, I get 135 degrees. Okay, which means that your tangent of negative 585 is exactly the same thing as tangent 135. We're going to end up at exactly the same spot. So as far as getting the exact value, we're going to work with that one there, the 135 degrees. So if I do 135, that's going to be drawn in the second quadrant because it's between 90 and 180. So of course the original angle, negative 585, I'll be going around clockwise around once, around twice, and around to here. That would be if I have negative 585. So I could do it that way too, but instead I want to work with a positive angle. That's that one. First thing you want to do when you find a value is you want to find the reference angle. Reference angle is the, uh, in, it's in the second quadrant. So in the second quadrant, the formula for it is 180 minus theta. So we're going to do 180 minus 135. And we'll get 45 degrees as a result there. Second step is you apply the trig function to the reference angle. The trig function is tangent this time, so we're going to do tangent 45 degrees. And from the table or the unit circle, we get square root of 2 over 2. Step 3 would be apply the appropriate sign for what quadrant you're in. We end up in the second quadrant, all students. So in this quadrant, sign is positive, everything else is negative. That means that tangent would also be negative here in the second quadrant. Which means I need to put a negative on my answer. So my final answer, tangent of negative 585, would be equal to negative square root of 2 over 2. Again, we're putting negative there because tangent would be negative in the second quadrant.